What's going on everyone? I have, I'm bare faced. Okay, and the reason why is we're gonna be trying out some new makeup that I have seen all over Instagram. So check it out. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. It is Tom and Jerry makeup. Uh, most of the stuff in the back, it's a little bit in English, lucky you, lucky me. That's the name of this one. It's in a different language there. I got it from Etude. And if you guys know what that, that website is, then you know they sell a lot of makeup from overseas, really cool stuff like that. And they have little eyeshadows, let's take these out. And so everyone has been posting these or talking about these or wanted these, so I got it. So everything that I just showed you there was about 50, $60 in total. And I wanted to try it out and see how it goes. All right, let's get started. Oh my gosh, before we get into the drama, this video is sponsored the house by Uber Chill. Yeah. This is it right here. Oh my God, okay. So they sent this to me and I've been using it for a few days now. And basically it's just a refrigerator for some of your cosmetics. There it goes. I was trying not to knock anything over, but um, girl, it works. The house has like a little handle right here too. So you open it up this way. Okay, there it goes. So you open it up. I'm trying to be very careful. Oh, I think one just fell. So you open it up this way and this is how it looks like. And it keeps it nice and cool. Here's what I have in here. So wait, wait take it. Okay, so I have my, I call it my Mario spray, but you know what this is, right? I rarely use this one, but when I do, makes me feel very like, ro I use it like rose watery. Like after I finish my makeup, I see like one little spray. And then this one right here, which was, I got my boxy charm, love it so much. Which, uh, guys, if you haven't tried this, you gotta try it. All right, and then I got the Morphe Jerry Star Setting Spray. I'm almost out of that one. Then I have my, right here, my setting spray with Gerard Cosmetics. Check it out, link below. This one like Dreamsicle. And then I have this one, oops, right here, which is like, the, oh my God, I bought this one recently. It's, I, help me with the pronunciation. Shun, Shuntilla Say or Shuntilla something. It's all the setting spray. You see the pattern here? I keep my setting sprays in here. And then the La Mer setting spray as well. Keep that in here too. Right here, boom. So this thing keeps it chill. I took, um, it comes with the plug in the back right here. And it plugs in right here, but I took it out so I can hold it for the video. So what I like about it is like when it's on, you don't hear it like really loud. Like there's a, maybe like a slight little buzz to it, but it's nothing like annoying or nothing you really can't hear. Some of them make really loud noises and it's kind of annoying. This one's super quiet, super chill. And like I said, it's called Uber Chill. And it has like this little thing here. So you have to like get your hand behind it and just like push forward. It's not that heavy as you can see I'm holding it. Very light and it freaking works. That's what I love about it so much. And it's a freaking little mini fridge, right? And fridges are super expensive. And I never thought like I would put like um, makeup in my fridge or cosmetic in my fridge, but it works, right? It really keeps this stuff cold. And so when you spray it on your face, it just feels like a super cool mist on top of what it already is supposed to help you do, especially with like your creams and stuff. It's so amazing. So definitely check out Uber Chill and thank you for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much. Okay, I have absolutely, I don't, I don't know what I bought, girl. I, I just, I got the whole collection, but I don't know what it is. So we're gonna find out together and see if it works, see what the tea is, see if it's, you know, a little hocus pocus or if it's actually really good. So the whole entire theme of this is Tom and Jerry makeup. And I freaking love that cartoon. It was a really good cartoon. It wasn't my favorite, but I did like it. It reminds me a lot of my dad. My dad really, really, really loved um, Tom and Jerry stuff. And you guys know, those who know, you know, he passed away like a long time ago. And it's just like, it just reminds me of him. So it's kind of like nostalgic why I would buy it. and. Um, you know, I've always think about him now. Back then, I didn't, but now that all the year, all the years have passed by, just kind of like when I when I go places. Like remember one time I was staying at this overpriced hotel, and uh, I opened up the windows and the mountains were there, like these beautiful mountains, and I just like I just got really emotional because my dad really loved mountains, and I wish he was there to see him. You know, like I wish he was here to see like how far I came and like what I'm doing and things like that, and just kind of like just wish he was here. You know, so it always kind of makes me a little sad, but you know, some of you guys in the comments will say like, he is here, he's around you, but I just wish he was physically here to see some of the stuff that I have seen, but I don't want to get emotional. Oh God, okay. So what, what do I have here? All right, so let's open it up and find out together. So the packaging is really thick, thick, thick cardboard, really nice. Um, very much is collector's makeup. All right, um, and then I open it up and here's what we have. That is super cute. Okay, um, I guess I don't know what, what the items are. And there you go, it looks like a little blush. That's, and this is like plastic. Wait, oh, it actually comes off. Okay, so yeah, it can, it can come off, see that? If you didn't want it on there, but we'll keep it on there and I'm gonna put this back on here and we're gonna see what else we 
Scott loves to match. Okay, so that's, let me get that out of the way. Um, tattoo tint, here's the packaging for this one. And we're gonna open it up here. Oh my God, look, that is super cute. It's, what is this? Let's see what it looks like. Hold on. Okay, whoa. Oh, okay, so it's a lippy. Okay, so we give it a swatch, hold on. No scent. Um, and let me see. Whoa. Okay, super nice. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And like, I, this is what I love about things like this is because, on, like I keep telling you, like, I feel like we have, there's nothing new under the sun, right? We kind of like, especially in the makeup world, like we've seen it all. And so when I see stuff like this, it's like a collab and it's super fun and it's cute and it's whimsical. I love that. Okay, next is this one here. And I don't know what this is, but let's find out. Um, it says, color my brows. Ooh, okay. So, so you got the pink and you got the gray. And let's see what this looks like. Okay, so it's like a brownish color so i can put some here kind of rub it on there a little bit so there you go oh that's nice it's not too bad that's a good color i love brows that are like painted black right but when you put on brows that are black people say you look like a witch or something but um so a lot of people just use like the brown but i just still kind of like tint them black my brows but you know whatever who am i girl who am i the next one is whatever this is. <laughs> what is is lucky together again? That's like the whole theme. I think this has to be like an eyeliner or something. So we're gonna find out. So there you go. Is it is it a pen? Oh, it's a freaking pen. Are you serious? Hold on, let me see. Oh, and it works. Okay, it works. Oh, <laughs> I dropped it. Okay, um, so I'm gonna see. Okay, so I put it on there. Please subscribe, like, and comment. This is pretty cool. Okay, I like that. So it's a little cute pen if you're into the brand. Does it come off easily? Nah, doesn't come off at all, but super cute. Okay, um, we're gonna put that here. Next up, we have a brush. No, it just says Etude. Um, I think this, I think I picked this up. Well, it says Jerry's Cheek Brush, but then on here, it doesn't say anything. It just says Etude. So let me see. Um, it's not as soft as other brushes I have tried. It's very dense. I'm, I mean, I'm not, I'm not expecting like natural hair or anything like that. It's just, I, I can, I know it's a synthetic brush, but it just doesn't feel super soft and fluffy. It does feel kind of like cheapy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Then we have these, whatever these are. Okay. And I think these are going to be, doesn't say, I think they're eyeshadows or something. Let's open it up. So here's the one with the little kitty cat on there and my hands are clean and let's get, oh, this is super soft. Whoa. Check that out. Okay, let's see if I can put it here. Okay, so there you go. Whoa. I'm really impressed by that. Whoa. On here, it looks a little darker and purse is a little lighter. I like that. Okay, next up, we have both of them together. And there you go. And let me get this one here. Okay. Here's the color right here. And it is... There you go. So it's gonna be right here, almost like a little highlighter or like an inner corner of an eye type of deal. Super, super nice. Okay, this one, I don't remember this character's name, but he was on there. You see that? It's like the, looks like a puppy. That's really neat. And let's see, it almost looks like a grayish color. Oh, let me get a little more. I'm kind of excited for this one. Let's see how this one like plays out. Okay, um, <laughs> hey, here we go. Ooh, check that out. Whoa. I love that. Nice. It's like a silvery. Oh, I like that a lot. There's, I want to see there's some, okay. I do want to share this with you guys. Um, I bought this the other day. It is by Beauty by Pop Sugar. So I've never tried this brand and I picked this up because I love how it's swatched and I want to show it to you. And I've been meaning to show it to you guys. Um, it was a little bit on the pricey side, but here's my clean finger here. Let me give it a little shine. Let's see, oh my God. Okay, there we go. And here we go, watch. You're gonna be shook by that. Okay, do you see that little shimmer? It's like crystallized, it's so beautiful. And I love that color. And the camera doesn't do it any justice. Let me see if I can pick up some more, but it's almost like a jelly. 
it's like a jellyish material. It's kind of wet. And let me put some on here again. I just love how that looks. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. And it's like a color that I've always wanted, but I could never find. I think the closest to this one was the Chanel, I think it was Phantom, I think that color, or Phantasmi by Chanel, which is discontinued. It's very much that, but without, without all the powdery stuff, right? So I really do love this a lot. And I'm actually gonna try to, should I try some? I wanna try some. Okay, I'm gonna try some on here. Okay, so I'm gonna get some on my brush. Now, I don't expect you guys to be able to see it, but it's just a color that I just think it's, oh, it's so beautiful. See, I don't know if it'll be able to show up, but it's one of those things that like, when you were to see me in person, you would see it. Okay, um, I wanna see how well this applies on the eye. Don't come for me, okay? Shut up, don't come for me. Okay, so here we go. So I were to go ahead and, so I, it does have pigment, but it's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it goes on super smooth, just like it did on the swatch. I like that a lot. It's almost giving me that, mmm, that's what I call it. It's giving me that, mmm, look. And I'm just gonna like feather it out off to the side here. Oh, it's so easy. Okay, can you see that? I don't know if you can see, I know I can see it. Maybe I should bring it up some more. Cause I have like hooded eyes and it's so annoying, right? People who do not have hooded eyes, I mean, I, you're just blessed, okay? Cause girl, when I, when I have hooded eyes like me, I can do a sickening look all up in here. And it's minute I close my eyes, you don't see any of it, girl. So it's like, why even bother, you know? So if I bring it up higher, you'd see that one. Okay, so it's very like a light pink. Um, I do wanna try, let me see. Okay, so this one is like a shimmery. You know what? It looks really good. Hold on, it's, I don't think it has much pigment. It's almost like a topper. I'm gonna put it over this other one here. Cause it's always, they always say better together. Okay, so now that I've mixed those two on this one, mm -hmm. I don't know. That was pretty much it. I bought this collection because it's very nostalgic to me and they get me like that, okay? So yeah, so let me know what you think about all that drama, if you like it, if you don't like it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.